You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, we're about to talk about Miss Wendy Williams. Okay, so as you guys know, Wendy Williams has been very open about the fact that she has struggled with drug use, specifically cocaine, in her past. Well, on her show today, she was very transparent. She cried and was open about the fact that she is currently living in a sober house. And according to a source close to Wendy, the reason that she spoke her truth is because she already knew that the Daily Mail was going to out her about it and keep in mind the Daily Mail is the same platform that told everybody that Wendy Williams husband Kelvin was cheating on her with Sharina Hudson here is the footage that the Daily Mail has of Wendy Williams being dropped off at the sober house by her husband and this is the footage that they were going to release but Wendy Williams decided to tell the truth on her own platform. So Wendy spoke her truth today, but allegedly she only spoke her truth because the Daily Mail was going to speak it for her. So she got in front of the story. Now I have thoughts on another reason of why she spoke her truth, but we're gonna get to that later on in the video. Now on the show, when Wendy Williams talked about living in the sober house, she said that she has a 24 hour sober coach who drives her to the sober house and she lives there away from her husband. She she said that her living at this sober house has been a secret that only her husband and her son knew. She said not even her parents knew about it. And she said she's been living there for a while. She gave details about what it's like living there, saying that she has to have lights out by 10 p.m. and in her room by 10 p.m. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. So you know me for being a very open and truthful person and I've got more to the story for you. The truth, oh. Um, you know, Kevin, Kevin and I have the Hunter Foundation for the good of the people, and we recently launched our 8885 uh, Hunter number for those of you caught up in the struggle of addiction. Well, for some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. When you see me come to work, glammed up, right after the show, I go across the street, I do my Pilates. I told you two hours a day, I like to take care of my body. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past, and I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped. But, um, there are people in your family, it might be you, who've been struggling. And I wanted to know more of the story. So this is my autobiographical story, and I'm living it, and I'm telling you this. After I go to the Pilates, I go to several meetings all around town in the tri-state area, and I see my brothers and sisters caught up in their addiction and looking for help. They don't know I'm Wendy. They don't care I'm Wendy. There's no autographs, there's no nothing. It's the brothers and sisters caught up in the struggle. And it's been, it's been really interesting, um, this ride. Only Kevin and Kevin have known about this. Uh, not my parents, nobody, nobody knew. <clears throat> Cause I look so glamorous out here, but after I finish my, after I finish my um, appointments, seeing my brothers and sisters and, you know, breaking bread, I am driven by my 24 hour sober coach back to a home that I live in here in the South, I mean, in the tri-state with um, a bunch of smelly boys who've become my family. Um, they hog the TV and watch soccer. And we talk and read and talk and read, and then I get bored with them. <sighs> Doors locked by 10 p.m. Lights out by 10 p.m. So I go to my room and I stare at the ceiling and I fall asleep to wake up to come back here to see you. So that is my truth. Oh. And, um, if you, 
or I know, I know. Either you're calling me crazy or the bravest woman you know, I don't care. Um, if you or someone you know, our Hunter Foundation just launched last week. We have already successfully placed 56 people in recovery centers around the world, not just the country. It's a 24-hour hotline, seven days a week. Call 888-5-HUNTER. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so you saw that. Wendy Williams was very vulnerable. She was very open and very honest about living in a sober house away from her husband without anyone knowing about it. I commend her for telling us the truth about where she's living and what she's been going through. And I truly pray that she gets the recovery that she needs. Cocaine use or any type of drug addiction is very, very serious. And admitting and accepting that you have an issue is very difficult. So once again, I do commend Wendy Williams for that. Now with that said, Said, I do want to tell you guys my personal thoughts on this situation. I commend her for telling us about her issues, but I have to tell you guys why I think she told us about this. Now, it's no secret that Wendy Williams' husband, Kelvin, was accused of cheating on her with a woman named Sharina Hudson. Not only cheating on Wendy Williams with this woman, Sharina Hudson, but also carrying on a very, very long relationship, buying her a house very close to his house with Wendy, and allegedly currently getting her pregnant and giving her an engagement ring. And there's also been allegations that Wendy Williams' husband, Kelvin, allegedly abused her. Shout out to Chronicle Speaks YouTube channel for doing this investigative work and letting us know that Wendy's husband's real name is Kelvin Hunter and he did in fact share a house with Sharina Hudson. You can see right here that the people closest to him, one of the names is Wendy Hunter. Shout out to Chronicle Speaks for the receipts. Please make sure you watch her video if you missed it and make sure you subscribe. Okay, so I personally feel that all of that is true and I personally feel like those situations with her husband are what drove her to relapse and go back to using cocaine. Wendy Williams has never admitted to these allegations but she did address her marriage basically saying that she loves her husband and she will be staying with him forever and that she does not want any of us to ask her about her marriage. So we know each other. He's my best friend. He's my lover. He's all this and he's all that. I know what you've been saying. And I knew what the streets have been talking about. But Hunty, let me show you who I fell in love with and who he fell in love with. Hit it. And I am still very much in love with my husband. And anybody who's been married for five minutes or 500 years, you know. Marriages have ebbs and flows. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere. Not in this lifetime. Now that Wendy Williams has come out and admitted that she is living in a sober house, dealing with her drug addiction to cocaine, I personally feel that if slash when she does divorce her husband, that will be the reason that she uses, that she lived apart from her husband in a sober house, and that was the breakdown of her marriage. I personally feel that Wendy Williams has way too much pride to ever admit that everyone was right and that her husband was cheating on her. This is just my personal opinion. Yes, this is a conspiracy, but this is what I personally feel. I personally feel that Wendy Williams definitely wants to get out of her marriage. That is why she is strategically making statements on her show. She starts with the statement about the fact that she loves her husband and she will never leave him. And now she's being open about her drug addiction and the fact that she lives away from her husband to tend to that drug addiction. And I personally feel the next step is going to be her announcing her her divorce live on her show based on the fact that she lived apart from her husband for so long in the sober house. If slash when she divorces her husband publicly, the reason will never be that he cheated on her with Sharina. The reason will never be that he allegedly beat her. And the reason will never be that he allegedly got Sharina pregnant. The reason that I believe she will give is that she lived apart from her husband for so long. She was dealing with her drug addiction and that was the breakdown of her marriage. I'm just saying that's what I think. My subscribers know that a couple of weeks ago, I actually attended the Wendy Williams show and I had an absolute amazing time. Let's be clear, I'm not here to drag Wendy. I'm just giving my opinion on her the same way that she gives her opinion on everybody else. I'm just saying. But anyways, my subscribers know that I went to the Wendy Williams show a couple weeks ago 
I had a phenomenal time. I went there with a friend of mine, Chronicle Speaks, here on YouTube, the one who found out that Wendy Williams' husband's name is Kelvin. We went there to be entertained, of course, as fans, but also to get the tea, okay? We went there as a wellness check to check on Wendy because people say that she's been allegedly beaten by her husband. So we wanted to see for ourselves how Wendy Williams is doing. And she looked amazing. She was beautiful. She was amazing. But in our personal opinion, we feel like she just didn't look very happy. When the cameras were on, of course, she was smiling. She was happy. But behind the scenes, when those cameras turned off, she just looked so sad. And now that she's telling us that she has been living in a sober house, it makes so much more sense to me. I was there, part of the crowd. I was smiling, clapping like everybody else. But when those cameras turned off, when I looked at Wendy, she just did not look happy. And that's just what I saw. The best part of the show is the turn up with her DJ and her MC. I mean, they really have a great time with the crowd. How you doing? 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 But outside of the amazing time that I had behind the scenes during the show, it is extremely scripted. Most people already know that when it comes to television, that it is practice, rehearsed, and scripted. But it's a difference between kind of knowing it and seeing it. And I'm telling you guys, at that show, I saw her practicing and rehearsing what she's going to say and how she's going to say it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying all of this to say that today when she cried and was open about going to that sober house, I do feel that she was being honest. But also, I'm saying that that was planned. And I feel that it was planned in a way to set up for her divorce that she is going to have. She's openly letting us know that she has not been living with her husband for a long time now. And we all know typically what happens when spouses are living apart. Not always, but most times there's a disconnect. Now we all know there was a disconnect a long time ago because clearly he has a whole relationship with Sharina Hudson. But I'm saying that publicly I feel that Wendy Williams will talk about the disconnect between her and her husband and the fact that they are going to divorce. Call it a reach, call it a conspiracy, but that's what I feel. I feel she told us that so that later on she can let us know that she's leaving her husband without having to address the fact that he allegedly cheated on her with Sharina Hudson and got her pregnant. I'm just saying. Now with all of that said, this is all entertainment. This is all gossip for us. But for Wendy Williams, this is her real life. Now, however she gets out of the marriage, I hope she gets out of the marriage. Because even though Wendy Williams does gossip and talk about everybody else, I don't believe that anyone deserves to be treated the way that she's been treated by her husband, Kelvin. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this. I want to know what y'all think. What do you guys think about Wendy Williams letting us know that she does not live with her husband and that she lives in a sober house? Do you agree with me that this is a setup for her announcing her divorce? And if you don't agree with my conspiracy, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.